Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Sandfield's Grand Theft Auto 3 100% guided walkthrough. So, we have just opened Staten Island from the last uh, mission that we did. So, of course, as always, with the new island open, we're going to be doing new side things. And the first one, as you noticed by the uh, title and thumbnail, is that we're going to be collecting the hidden packages that are available to us here in Staten Island, along with one, the final one, in Portland. So, Get the, uh, whatever vehicle you have and take it all the way north here to the Rockford area. And you'll see this little, uh, uh, outpost, kind of army outpost area, which is Phil Cassidy's army outpost. And a lot of you may know or remember Phil Cassidy from previous Gun Theft Auto installments. Yes, he will be in this one, though technically with the, uh, release of the games, this is the first time you really get to know him. Anyway, but of course, chronologically, uh, it's, you know, you've known him quite a while. So anyway, so great rates paid for new and used emergency vehicles. Yes, game, we know about this. I've already told everyone about it. We've been doing it already. Jeez. Come on, get caught up there. Anyway, so we, that was 33. Now behind the billboards here for package number 34. <sighs> yeah, the game's a little slow on the uh, notifications here. <laughs> All right, so after package number 34, we are going to go ahead and head uh, east here on the southern road, and we are going to park this vehicle at the edge or entrance here to the uh, subway and get out and actually head down these stairs to get into this ambulance here because we're going to just take this ambulance just a little bit north actually within the lodge and you'll notice here up to the left there's a hidden package uh, so now we're gonna have to jump on to the ambulance oh my word so of course try to line yourself up and you kind of need to jump oh, my word uh, just before you get to the ambulance, so you, the peak of your jump can be onto the hood of it. Come on. Ugh, my word. Really? Come on, be like CJ. Climb onto the... Oh, my God. You know what? There we go. Little edit. Haha. <laughs> All right. Now, onto the ambulance and onto the roof for package number 35. Fantastic. See how easy that was? Ha. <laughs> All right. Up the stairs and into the vehicle that you parked on the uh, entry to the subway. This is going to be a bit of a travel to get to so that's why I brought a vehicle here uh, better to do it in the vehicle than on foot but of course be very careful as you make your way down because there are a lot of tight turns <clears throat> try not to uh, uh, kill too many people as you <laughs> head down and onto the subway tracks oh there's even a cop there ha ah, yep nope 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 See, I just hit you. I just knocked you down. I didn't actually kill you, so you don't have to give me a wanted level, which is great. All right, so onto the tracks, make a left, and we're going to be heading east, and we're going to be going back to the Portland area. Uh, now know that just like the above Grand L train tracks, uh, there is only one side that the trains actually run on, and heading east, they will be on our left side. So that is why I'm kind of staying on the right side as much as I can, because I don't want to risk the trains crashing into me or coming up behind me. Uh, so here we are in Portland now of course be very quick getting on to this station I would even suggest uh, Checking behind you like putting the camera behind you to make sure a train isn't coming up Because you don't want it to crash into the car and possibly blow you up uh, Anyway, so up here will be package number 36 and this is the final one for Portland because in the last video <clears throat> um, I had collected a hidden package. I think it was was it 32 or something like that um, that we were unable to collect until we had the boat and so that is what I did in the last video for those of you that didn't see it see there's a train so now we're making a right and heading back west to Staten Island so now see on the left hand side uh, but yeah like I said uh, in the last video was the package so if you didn't see it please watch go back and watch the last one to see where that hidden package was uh, and it's kind of near the uh, second half of the video what on earth is this Cartel Cruiser? Okay, uh, sure, why not? That was there when we came in, right? No, it wasn't. That's so weird. Anyway, all right, so here is the train uh, that's parked there. Just gonna wait till that takes off, and then go a little bit more forward, and you'll be back in Staten Island. Now, thankfully, that is the last time we had to actually travel out for another hidden package, so just get back onto the uh, station here, and go ahead and... <laughs> Try not to kill too many people, like I said, because you don't want to get that wanted level, because there are cops that roam around this area, and I don't want to risk like being just stationary for too long, especially with the store being torn off, because a cop can just 
bust you right then and there if a door is torn off. They come right up to your door. All right, so we're gonna be back up and out. We're back here at Liberty Campus area. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and try and find a uh, cartel cruiser, which is that vehicle that was actually stuck down in the uh, uh, subway station. I wonder if I would, would it actually be able to take that vehicle. Anyway, so here is what you know we need to get. Uh, now, we're not going to be using this for the next package, but we will need it for a package coming up. Just FYI. So if you cannot find one immediately, that's fine, but no, you will be needing one here pretty soon for a kind package. Anyway, so now we're going to head over here to the stadium, and we're going to go into the front of the stadium, or on the southern side of it. You'll see a huge staircase that leads up to it. This is, I guess, supposedly uh, supposed to represent a weird texture glitch there. Uh, Yankee Stadium or something. Anyway, at the uh, doors to it will be package number 37. I'm just going to go ahead and give you all a quick look at what the inside of the stadium looks like. Big football stadium with the Cox team printed on the bleachers or whatever. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so back into the cartel cruiser. We're going to now head <clears throat> south. And now this next one, we will need the cruiser for it. And another weird texture glitch. I don't know why that happens. So weird. All right, over here, uh, just head south. Um, and this gate here is what we need the cruiser for. It only opens for the cruiser. Now make a sharp turn to the left and in this open garage area will be package number 38. So get that and that is all that is in this little lot. That's all we really need the cruiser for. But of course, this is the vehicle that's right by us. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it and go back out of the lot. And we're gonna drive across the street and into the uh, Liberty Campus area again, but this time we're going to drift left through the campus lot and over here to the north to this little path, follow the path down, stand on the lower level and in front of these doors here around on the eastern side will be package number 39. One more package and we'll be able to unlock something else. So go ahead and back out and then head back north onto this road here and then make a right to head east and we're going to be going all the way east, and I mean all the way to the outer road that faces, or hugs the water line, but be very careful when you come to the edge of the road there. What you want to do is kind of head north and slowly down this ramp as much as you can, because you can risk falling in, or ramping off into the water if you just head it straight off. I see that little water line there. So you may be able to ramp over it and onto this road, but I don't want to risk it. Now, if you want to save your game, though, before getting this next one, go for it, I won't blame you, because it is a dangerous one to get for this metal beam uh, that you have to slowly walk up, you know, just barely tilt the left stick forward to slowly walk up there. But once you get up here, though, use the camera to line yourself up with the central beam here uh, of this bridge, and then you get hidden package 40 and unlock the shotgun, yeah! And of course, be very careful in this whole general area, because as you see, there are the uh, cartel here that will be trying to shoot at you and take you down. Make sure he's dead. There we go. And uh, so now that that is done and over with, uh, head south and then make the first right. Maybe even cut it across the grass here if you want. And we're going to be heading into this huge construction lot here. Uh, again, if you weren't able to find a cartel cruiser earlier, there is normally one parked here at that at the lot. Um, and you can see right there ahead of me. So anyway, with that being done, uh, <clears throat> head north now to the, like the second huge building and you'll see the small staircase up to our right with the wooden plank so go ahead and go up it and continue heading was this east and there'll be a little staircase here that's kind of blended into the walls so go up here to the second floor you'll see a health and armor pickup but continue turning to the right and in this little unfinished room will be package number 41. So that is it for this top level here. Now what you want to do is head down the stairs again and then make a U-turn to the right. Heading forward to the south, jumping over this wall, down below, and continue south. And between these two columns here, or support pillars, whatever it be, package number 42. So that is done with the whole construction block. Get back into whatever vehicle you have or want, and then head back south and out of the lot here on the was it southwestern side. There will be this little entryway here over this little <laughs> pole uh, to make it spin out, whatever. Anyway, then into this little uh, alleyway here, you'll probably notice this area, which is the safe house that we had used for Liberty City Stores. 
So it's that same area here in Newport. Uh, just kind of wrap around here to the left, though. And uh, also to our left in the second open garage will be package number 43. And up that ramp there will be the uh, pan spray. As you see, they actually have the icons for the pan spray, uh, which is weird that they have the icons now for this. Um, and they didn't have it for Portland, but whatever. Anyway, so after that, head out west and into the multi-story uh, garage, car, park, car park, parking thing, whatever, up to the second floor, and between the uh, ramp to the third and the wall will be package number 44 on the northern side. All right, so back out, and yay, crashing into a pole. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so we're going to head back down and out. Come on, let's go. So I'm just trying to be as careful as I can because there's so many poles in this lot. <laughs> so anyway, once we get down, we're going to head south and then make a right to head west. And then we're going to actually make a right to continue heading west. I mean, it's going to be north, of course, and make a left and make another. Or to continue heading west is what I should have said. And we're going to be going all the way down. Oh my gosh, my throat is starting to get so scratchy here from talking so much. Yay. All right, then we're going to go down this. Oh, no, we're going to actually make a right heading up north. I'm just trying to remember here exactly where we're going. I Actually, no, we could have headed down that little grass ramp. And we're going to be heading all the way down here to the western road and then make a left. And you'll see the fire station there on our left. Just past it, though, into this little open lot will be the next package. And some of you may remember this lot as well from a side mission that we had to do in WC Stories where we had to sell people motorcycles. So that is that. And then from there, um, now this next one, I was kind of, I'm trying to debate which one I want to get. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go up this one here. Go up the grassy incline and, oh, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was kind of close. I almost flipped over that vehicle. And what we're going to do is head up here to this curved road. And this curved road is what actually leads into the third uh, island. But, of course, it's going to be closed off, so we can't actually head too far up. But what we want to do is ramp off the corner here. And, ah, uh, oh, there we go. Yep, I almost lost that. Hey, perfect instinct stamp bonus. Okay, got some money for that. Cool, whatever. Anyway, so just go ahead and uh, head off. All right, so park off there. And there we go, package number 46. Actually, you know what? Hindsight, I guess, is 2020. I should have collected the other package first. Because now what we're going to have to do is head back down this ramp, uh, grass ramp that we headed up the first time and collected this hidden package here, which would be 47 for us. But you know what? I would say switch these two packages when you're doing it. Okay, collect this package first for 46 and then go up the grass ramp for 47. Uh, because where I need to go to now is pretty much back up to where we were for 46. Uh, yeah, and so, yeah, cut some time off for you if you're trying to be as fast as possible, you know. Say if you're doing a speed run for 100% completion, you know. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, we, that's the little rooftop that we were on. This is a road that was just to uh, the side of it. Now what we have to do is hop onto this vehicle, and you know what? There we go, hop onto this vehicle, over the fence, and now we are in Central, or well, Middle Park, Middle Park, not Central Park, Middle Park. Head over here into the uh, basketball court in the center for package number 48. And now, uh, we, yes, we pretty much lost that vehicle, which is fine. Uh, go ahead and head south. Do not get into this land soccer here, because that will start a very annoying ve um, vehicle mission. So that is, of course, going to be saved for another vehicle, or another video. <laughs> Duh. Uh, now on foot, though, uh, hopefully have Sprint unlocked, uh, because, you know, we're going to be sprinting here pretty much a ways. Uh, but I wanted to show you here real quick uh, the uh, <laughs> little bathrooms that you can actually go into. Uh, some weird, weird camera angles that they have set up in here. I guess because it's so tight that they had to set it up like kind of the Silent Hill Resident Evil style, right? Um, anyway, so continue heading south uh, on foot and underneath the pedestrian bridge and the center will be package number 49. Up and you know what? Yeah, go ahead and head out to the east. I guess you could have just continued heading forward there. <laughs> and of course get a new vehicle, whichever one you get. Oh, taxi. Taxis are Always perfect for just kind of going around. Oh, wait, here's the one coming up right behind. So I'm just going to head, wait here until it gets up to me. There we go. 
Now with that, we got the taxi. Um, there's a few more here on the uh, northern section that we have to get, or a couple more at least. Uh, I kind of can cut this island off from northern section, southern sections, can, uh, based off of the uh, central main road there that leads off from the Callahan Bridge. And ramp the Callahan Bridge is what leads into Portland. Anyway, so go over here, and we're going to actually ramp off here, and this is going to be the uh, lot that we started off in with uh, Asuka's mission there uh, to the north. And as you can see, there is a banshee parked here. Now, so I'm going to probably get that banshee when I come back up. But anyway, so yeah, there's the uh, Asuka's condos you know, up to the north. So we're going to be on the southern uh, pier here. Docks, piers, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to go all the way out here to the end. Of course, be very careful. Make sure it's lined up very well because you don't want to risk it running off into the water, uh, let go of sprint, and when you make the turn, and there we go, package number 50, and this will unlock body armor uh, at our hideouts, which is absolutely amazing. I think one of the best uh, unlocks that we have gotten so far, because now we have unlimited body armor, of course unlimited health from the paramedic mission, unlimited sprint, and also the unlimited ammo that we have obtained with the weapons from the hidden packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the Banshee here, and we're gonna be heading off to the next uh, hidden package, uh, which is going to be staying down here, and there's going to be another uh, pier, as you can see there, on the radar, but, god, I hate how they set this up here in GTA 3, and uh, Liberty City Stories, this was so much more open, you know, it's so much easier to traverse in these the whole docks area here. Alright, there we go, and oh, 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 too far, too far, too far. So you see this opening here with the staircase leading down to these piers. I, I'm just going to call these piers. I pierce docks, whatever. So as you see there, it's going to be on the central pier here to the north. Again, be very careful. You don't want to fall into the water. And you'll be able to collect package number 51. There we go. Lining myself up just to be safe. And so funny how the water actually goes through the uh, wood here, the pathway. Uh, but I guess it's what they could do with the uh, hardware that they had, right? They can like, make it stop or lower it in that section. Or I guess they could have just at least heighten the piers, right? I don't know. Anyway, so be very careful, though, as you make your way south, on, back onto the grass and onto the road. I just wanted to come up this way instead of going all the way back up, or, th you know, winding through that whole uh, docks area. Uh, so, in anyway, this part, we... Yeah, I'm having to do this little post, because, you know, some cuts I had to make here because I was making some wrong turns. Anyway, so here, here we are, and then what we want to do is head left to head south and I think that was all of the packages that we had to collect on the northern side of Staunton and oh whoa come on texture yeah I'm always afraid when that happens I always think that you know it's like everything just disappears away from you and you'll like fall through but anyway here you'll see there's like this little l-shaped alley <clears throat> and what you want to do is go around it, uh, it for package number 52 facing Callahan Bridge so go ahead and head back on out of this alley and we are going to, which way are we going? Oh, excuse me, cop. Jeez, a lot of cops now. I, I don't want to want to level, you know. <laughs> anyway, so out and around here to the right. And up here is like the huge museum area. And behind the uh, second column from the north will be package number 53. Now maybe this is like the, uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art, or something like that. Who knows? Anyway, it's, it's supposed to be the museum. Uh, some type of representation. I don't know which one. Anyway, so after that, head down to this lot, and we are going to be actually making our way into the police station. But first off, into this big open area for package number 54. I now continue following this path, though. And then at the end here, before the staircase, make a right, and you'll see there's a police bribe that we pass through. Keep that in mind for later. Uh, and, oh, gosh. Come on, load up, game. Load up. What is wrong? Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. You'd think also be, be playing this on PlayStation 4 that it would actually be able to run a lot more smoothly, but apparently not. It's just a direct port from the PlayStation 2, which kind of sucks. Anyway, what you want to do now is you have to switch into this police vehicle because that's the only way this gate will open is for a police vehicle. And you'll notice this other vehicle here to the right, a much bulkier version, which is an enforcer, but... Keep that in mind for later. We're not going to be getting to that just yet. Okay, I want to stay in this police vehicle because it's kind of smaller and a little more s smoother, I guess you could say. So now just continue following this out, and then this gate will open for it. 
out and down. We're gonna head back out of this area and then make a right to go up the stairs. Do, 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 and there we go. Now we're gonna make a right again and we're gonna be going pretty far west. Uh, but make a left on the second road from the end here. So after all this weirdness right here, uh, here we go. Where the huge hamburger is, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then <clears throat> over here, you'll see this huge cathedral area. Just kind of wrap around, follow the wall here to the right, and in this weird little uh, lot here, our little opening will be package number 56. All right, and then back out. Like I said, this, I, I don't get this whole architecture here that they set up for it, whatever. Anyway, package number 56, and then back out, and up here, and then make it the first left, and then a left again into this kind of angled alley, facing directly north, and at the very end of it will be the next package. I'm gonna get out, there we go, package number 57. And I guess just go ahead and back up all the way. I suppose you probably could just kind of turn like that, do a little 180. Uh, anyway, and of course I see there's all these nicer cars being spawned now in the Banshees, but I'm not going to get into that just yet. I just want to stand this vehicle and just <clears throat> go, 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 not waste time. Anyway, go down here into the uh, underground car park and in front of these elevators will be package number 58. And that is it for down here, then we're going to go ahead and head back up, but don't get out onto the road just yet. What you want to do is get out, go west onto this like kind of walkway here between the building and the uh, guardrails and up all three flights of stairs to the very top and i think this is like the amco building i would love to fart there we go yep all the way up here and second here's the third one to the rooftop or pretty much the rooftop and all the way over here to the other end on the southwest corner of the roof for package number 59. All right, so now back out and over here. Going to go ahead and get back into the vehicle, out onto the road, <clears throat> and we are going to go out, and make a right, and you'll see this uh, empty store here, which I think in Liberty City Stories used to be, you know, the ammunition or something like that, or maybe it was Phil Cassidy's like gun shop or whatever. So now, 60 with Maltos delivered to the hideout. There we go. So now we have unlimited Maltos cocktails. Awesome. All right. Um, of course, I, no, it's whatever to me. I mean, we're not fireproof in this game at all, which, you know, some Maltos are kind of double-edged sword, I guess, with that. Uh, anyway, so now we are heading kind of zigzagging here south and uh, <clears throat> where this huge double highway is just to uh, the end of it. You'll see this little alcove here will be another hidden package for number 61. All right. And then out of that, we're going to make a right into this whole backlot area. I think there's like Liberty Tree offices, you know, this uh, parking lot for package number 62. The back lot of that. Then we're going to head back out to the road and then make a right and then we're going to drift right here and there's going to be this kind of off-site or hidden uh, underground parking lot all the way to the end here to the south in the central uh, wall, behind the central wall, whatever, uh, is package number 63. Now we have to head back out and up. When you get up to the top, though, get out of the vehicle. And there we go. Up and out. And we're going to head up here, up the stairs. And we have to kind of do a little hop. <laughs> couple hops there to get package number 64 and you know what I want a new vehicle I'm gonna get the stinger here that's parked in this back lot here there we go but I've been so upset if it was actually locked oh well there's another vehicle further down there's a crew up parked there too anyway so there we go and now that we are <clears throat> done with that we're gonna actually go out and we're going to make a left again sorry trying to remember which way to go here and you'll see on the radar, there's this big part that's sticking out there, but there's also this weird winding uh, path that leads all the way down to this other dock or pier area. Now we're not gonna be actually going out onto the pier here. What we're gonna be doing is going straight south and behind these rocks will be the next package. So package number 65. And then of course, 
head all the way back up this weird winding path. There we are, and once we're at the top, make a right, and we're gonna be following this road all the way down to the second intersection here. So there's the first, and here's the second. You'll see this uh, pedestrian bridge that goes over the uh, road. So go up onto the bridge and into the center will be package number 66. All right, now continue following the road here to the east, and we're going to be following this all the way to the sharp uh, corner here, and this huge monument here, which is, I think, like a star or something. Uh, behind it will be package number 67. All right, now we only have one more package to go for Staten Island. We're going to actually go down this grass ramp and over here uh, into the casino area. Yes, this is a huge casino here. Uh, so go ahead and get out and go up these stairs and we're going to go across and up this bigger staircase here all the way to the rooftop. Uh, let's see, it's on the, what is this, kind of southwestern side and hey look, a helicopter, but as you can see at the texture, you can't go in. Rockstar, you are a total D -ass the K for putting this <laughs> helicopter here without us being able to fly it. Aww. Anyway, in this far corner will be package number 68. All right, so that is all the packages that we are able to collect here in Staten Island. That is amazing. And like I said, though, there is one more package that we can't, or that Staten Island has for us, but we cannot collect it just yet. We have to wait until we open up the third island. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the safe house and just kind of show you all exactly what we have unlocked. All right, here we are, going down. Yeah, of course, park this here into my garage to save it and heal it. And here we are. So we have the armor, multives, shotgun, grenades, of course the pistol and the Uzi as well. So that is it. Awesome. So just showing you that I have all these different weapons here. I still have some sniper left. Uh, hopefully you have some sniper uh, ammo left too. Anyway, so there is all that, all that. This is the bat, of course. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and save, but let's see. Make sure. Yeah, okay, great. Anyway, so pausing it just to show you where we're at. So with all that, we'll be at 40% towards 100% completion. And as you see, hidden packages found will be 68 out of 100. There we go, everyone. That is it for this long video. I hope you all enjoyed. Love you all. Peace out. Till next time, adios. All right, everyone, well, I hope you liked that video. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean, know what I mean. Uh, if you want the next one in the series, then just click that top video right there. Or if you want some random video that YouTube put out for you, then click this bottom one right here. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also hit that bell icon to know when a new video will be uploaded. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.